Hey, Coach, obviously for the team to be successful, um, individuals have to step up from year to year. Last year we saw Mika have a breakout year. Are there any guys that you're looking at that show you signs that they, they might take it to the next level? Yeah, the guy that's kind of jumping out to all of us is Bucinevich. You know, obviously, he's uh, had had a real good second half last year, and you know he's really uh, this is the best camp he's had since I've been here. And I just I loved his I loved the way he played in the scrimmage the other night. I just loved uh, the way things are going for him. So, you know, he and I've uh, had long conversations about what his abilities are, and we certainly know what he's capable of doing. And you know, I'm excited for the fact it looks like he's got a chance to you know maximize his potential for a full season as opposed to just half. Next question comes from Rick Carpinello with The Athletic. Carpy, go ahead. Hey, David. Uh, just a few days till the season starts now. Are you close to getting down to numbers? And also, along those lines, um, how interesting is it, you know, the options of having that taxi squad and being able to maybe carry some extra guys? Yeah, we're certainly getting closer to what we're looking to have. So, um, you know, the taxi squad makes it a little bit easier having the ability to have them here and you know put guys into practice and things like that gives you a little bit more depth which I think we have this year so um, we're certainly getting to the nitty-gritty since we <laughs> we start for real Thursday next question comes from Molly Walker with the New York Post Molly go ahead hi Dave um, hope you've been well uh this is kind of an off the ice question, but Tony D'Angelo announced he was deleting his Twitter account yesterday and made the platform's decision to ban Donald Trump. And he said he was going to start using Parler, which is said to be the platform used to coordinate the Capitol storming, and it caused a bit of a stir around hockey. I'm just wondering your thoughts on coaching such an outspoken player, especially during this current political climate we have. Yeah, well, we've handled that internally with Tony. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a Twitter account. I'm not active on social media, so I don't know enough about it. Uh, obviously, we're aware of what happened, and we certainly have addressed it. Next question comes from Vince Mercagliano with USA Today Network. Vince, go ahead. Yeah, David, looking for an update on Mika. We heard that he skated today, so I'm wondering if he could maybe be a full go at practice as soon as tomorrow, and then also, do you expect Keandre back tomorrow? Mika's had a couple good days. He's inching closer to returning. Um, we're hoping for Keandre to be back tomorrow. Uh, it certainly looks like we will get him back, so that's a good sign on both fronts. Next question comes from Colin Stevenson with Newsday. Colin, go ahead. Uh, Dave, as, as far as Tony goes on the ice, I saw that you had him on the right side today and not paired with Jacob. Uh, is, is the experiment of him playing on the left and playing with Jacob, is that, is that done now? Um, no, it's not. It was still kind of, if, you know, without uh, Keandre here today, things kind of changed a little bit. So we're still in that mix and match mode of what our deep pairing is going to look like. 